Imagine that right now, this very second, you and I can somehow convince every single person in this world to instantly switch off every single thing that burns fossil fuels. Just like that, computer screens everywhere go dark, hundreds of millions of cars abandoned, planes screech to a halt, central heating systems and air conditioning units fall silent, coal fires extinguished, still forges, cement factories, and petroleum refineries all shut down. And in a single moment, 84% of our entire global energy consumption is gone, forever. Today I'm gonna to start by asking, would this be enough to stop the climate crisis? Go on any climate protest, listen to any activist on TV, or as I was lucky enough to do last year, attend one of the United Nations Global Climate Change Summits, and you'd be forgiven for thinking the answer is yes. The answer we're told is simple, right? Just stop using fossil fuels and the problem will be solved. But what if I told you that even if we did this right now, we wouldn't stop the nature and climate crisis, not even close. In fact, even if we pulled off this impossible feat, we'd still be heading towards catastrophic levels of warming, devastating numbers of species extinctions, and quite possibly the collapse of global civilization. Because astonishingly, that's what the peer-reviewed science actually shows. That if every drop of oil, every cubic metre of gas, and every metric tonne of coal stayed in the ground from today, we'd still smash through the 1.5 and probably even the 2 degrees Celsius threshold. Now, these are the thresholds we're told by the 2015 Paris Climate Agreement that we need to stay within to avoid more extreme weather patterns rising sea levels, flooding of cities and islands, droughts, water scarcities, food shortages, and hundreds of millions more climate refugees. And that's before taking into account the biggest environmental problem of our time, the extinction crisis, which threatens to undermine the very web of life on which we all depend. In other words, even if we pulled the plug on the fossil fuel economy, we'd still be on track to cause the extinction of one million species of plants, insects, and animals. So this is true, if ending fossil fuels alone won't safeguard against the breakdown of civilization and won't prevent the collapse of biodiversity and ecosystems, what does the science tell us is the truly biggest environmental problem of our time? And why hasn't the environmental movement told us about it? Believe it or not, it's something even closer to home than fossil fuels. It's what we eat for breakfast, lunch and dinner. 